I am nervous. I'm like really nervous. Well, this is how I got here, so I'm pretty nervous too. <laughs> Duty cycle 100, gain set to 100. Overboost, this scares me so much. Set boost controller just break the knob off. So duty cycle and gain are both set to 100. We go to overboost now, and let's make sure that we've got our overboost setting to 14. So we don't want it to make anything more than 14 pounds. If it was making more than 14 pounds, something's wrong. Set up and ready to go. Good luck, trans. Good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you may see behind me, we've got my twin turbo GT350 up on the dyno. We actually just pulled off my GT drag car and we made a lot more power than I was expecting. In fact, we kind of maxed out the speed limiter on the dyno so we couldn't even get all the numbers that we were shooting for, but oh well. Uh, best that we could get was in fourth gear and we made 921 wheel horsepower. If you haven't seen that video, you can click up above right now and go check it out. It was absolutely insane. Probably would have made right at about a thousand to the wheel if we could have ran it up in fifth gear, which is the one to one gear ratio in that car being that it does have a built trans in it and a little bit different gear ratios so now we've got the l horse performance twin turbo gt350 if you're new here you may not know this but the engine that is in this car is a sleeved and built rpg race engine which is built to handle about 1500 wheel horsepower so um, today we're not going to be making anywhere near that we're going to be stopping at roughly 13 and a half pounds of boost um and hopefully we'll get some good power out of it i think you should send it Huh? I think you should send it. Well, we can't really control it. It's only got a seven pound spring, so we're maxing out the boost oh. controller. This is like as much as it can make right now. Yeah, say we're yeah, gonna test our he's right. And the uh, and the fuel system. So still in uh, the stock fuel system, just a booster on here. So you're so. saying you're getting a new fuel system? Oh yes. Yeah, if we were to put a fuel system and a trans, and I think that's it. Yeah, fuel system and trans. It would it would take quite a bit. I can guess that this thing is probably honestly gonna make more power than the. The drag car does. Uncle Rodney. Uncle Rodney, I hope not. If it happened on the other one, I wouldn't be that upset, but this one cannot. All right, Doug. Since you were one horsepower off on your last guess, what'd you guess on this one? Say something high. 1022. 1022, all right. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna say 99. I don't remember what Daniel's guess was. I don't he he said it. He guessed like super high. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did guess high. I don't know where you get that number from. Uh, we just now got a request to start at eight to nine pounds, so not full as 14 yet, but. This one rev limiter is set to 80, 82.50, I think, or 8,000, one of those. I think it's 8,000. It'll be right at about nine pounds on this, so it's not gonna be that bad at all. You'll see, this one's a lot smoother. It's just gonna coast. Funny, so <laughs> yeah, <I hate> it. Okay, good. I might 
666 foot pounds of torque. 845 and 666. What in the hell are the chances of that? <laughs> this is draw. This side's draw. Yeah, this side's draw. He said it wasn't supposed to make nearly 845 on that boost. I think it's because these heads are ported. Sent the logs over to Palm Beach Dino. They said they look spectacular. So we're going to turn our boost up a little bit more. Turn duty cycle up to about. 80 gain still set to 100. So how much boost should that be? That should be right at about roughly 12 pounds of boost. Honestly, again, I have no no idea at all what this is gonna make. So we're gonna be finding out together. I didn't know if you turned the boost up or did a revision. Oh yeah. Do cycle up to 80. Oh, that one sounded way nasty. 932 and 707, but. I don't know. Maybe I'm, okay. So far, this car is dyno higher than the other one did. It was only holding 11.0 pounds of boost. 932 at 11 pounds. <laughs> All right. I'm going to send this log over real quick and see what we got. That's a lot of power, though, for 11 pounds, honestly. It's 932, 707. 707? Picked up a decent bit of torque, too. 11 pounds of boost. That sets us up for just about 1,022 horsepower at 14 pounds. I don't think it'll make it. I don't think it's going to break four. Well, it doesn't, whenever you have the duty cycle turned up 100%, it doesn't go all the way to 14. It's like it's like 13.5 or something like that. Drips, the oil filter, housing drips, the valve covers drip. It's just bleeding horsepower, man. Okay. Just got the go ahead to turn it up the rest of the way. So we're going all the way to 100. Let me make sure overboost is still set to 14. We are not going to make anything over that. Good to go. Crossing my fingers. Really hoping for quad digit horsepower. Four digit, anything over a thousand, I'm gonna be happy. It was 936? That one was 932. And again, it is in four, so we're not even one to one. So it's a little bit lower than what it should be. Same thing on the other car. So it is kind of kind of unfortunate, but we're limited. This isn't, um, we don't want to run this dyno up too high. So for tuning, it doesn't matter, but for getting accurate horsepower, it does. So in theory, at this point, it could possibly be in the four digit range. Yeah, it very well could be. I just, I, I want to see it go over a thousand in fourth. That's what's going to be cool to me. So this one hopefully should be the last one. I think it's because I have the overboost right now set to 14. I think it's wanting to creep past it. Yeah. I think it's hitting that overboost and popping it down some. Like 10 pounds. That one did. Yeah, it dipped way off. It, it made, before it did, it made 983 and 781. <laughs> and then fell off. <laughs> We're probably hitting overboost. So what I think is happening right now is we have our overboost set to 14. I think with that uh, wastegate setting at 100, I think the duty cycle set to 100, it's trying to push past 14. So turn up to 15. I'm only gonna make a good bit of power. I'm saying 1022. I should have said higher than 1036. <laughs> I literally, I said we hit overboost. What do you want me to do? He said set it to 16 and or no, he said raise that motherfucker. All right. He said turn it up. I guess they're comfortable. It's gonna make some power right here. More power, you know, baby. It's gonna make some power. We are definitely about to stretch the legs on this stock fuel system. Uh, all we've got is a booster pump from JMS, the twin booster pump, and we've got injectors in this car. Everything else is completely stock. Fuel rails, fuel lines, fuel pumps, fuel hat. I don't know how it's making this much power to begin with already. Now we're about to turn the overboost setting from 14 to 16. That way the overboost, if it touches anywhere close to 16, there's something wrong, it'll kill it again. But uh, it'll let it get high as it wants to on that duty cycle set to 100. I don't know what it's gonna make with duty cycle set to 100. I've got no idea what boost it truly will make, but we're about to find out. I am nervous. I'm like really nervous. Well, this is how I got here, so I'm pretty nervous too. <laughs> duty cycle 100, gain set to 100. Overboost. This scares me so much. I'm gonna turn it to 15.5. Oh, All right. If it blows up, I'm blaming you. Send it. All right. <laughs> Good luck. Oh. 
That one sounded nasty. 1013, 765. Oh, oh my god. god. 1013. Dad gum, boy. I was, I was within 10 horsepower of that one. Wow. I'm happy. That was like right under what I thought it was going to make. At least one And, 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 that is only in fourth gear. It's supposed to be in fifth. That's ridiculous. The daily makes more horsepower than the drag car. It's officially confirmed. For now. For now. Yeah, we couldn't really get good numbers on either, but today, that car made more. How did we just now have a dyno day with both of the cars and both of them are leaving running? It's like, this is the first. You drove them both here. Yeah, I drove them both here and they both get driven back. Yeah, that's Master Doug right there. <laughs> Well, we just made it back to the shop and it is really great to say that we successfully drove both of the cars an hour and 20 minutes in the rain, dynoed them, both of them dynoed right at a thousand wheel horsepower and drove them back. It's pretty crazy. Anyways guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Make sure you drop a like on this video, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, for now, see you next time. I said, driver, can you take me home?